when you brew the tea, all the time speak slow. Preferable you can even not speak so much, because as serious and as slow you talk, as more attention to the ceremony will be held by your guests. Then you infuse the tea and when you let the tea flow for a pot to the Gunda Bay, just keep the teapot as high as you can, like that. But all the time you must be very serious. Something like that. The same with the Gunda Bay or pincher. Make it very smooth. Like that. If you made any mistake during ceremony, never keep attention on that. Just be, yeah, it's a part of a ceremony. This must be like that. Because no one knows how it must be in real. There is no any official guidelines. So you can follow any guidelines of what you want. Just keep it serious. When you drink tea, because you are a tea master, of course, you are a tea taster, so you must make it like that. As more noise you can bring, as more professional you looks like. Even uh, is even better. After you t try the tea, you can talk about some kind of special flavors or aroma or fragrances, tastes, whatever, which is belongs to the tea. You can talk about the color of tea tang, cha tang of the tea. You can talk about the cup. Actually, you can talk about anything and the main thing, but you can, you must realize that if someone doesn't agree with your opinion, he's not a master. He is not a real follower of tradition. If you have some opinion about the chada or way of tea, puff of tea, if you have any view on the appearance, how tea place can look, must be presented. If you already have any opinion about the tastes of tea or about the types of poetry or types of teaware, what tea masters use regularly. It must be, of course, be told to anyone with very serious introduction, very serious arguments. If someone didn't follow that, of course he didn't, he didn't even realize how to be a master. If you want to take more attention, to bring more feeling of greatest knowledge about tea, about the tea ceremony, tea tradition, you must know something really special information. This is like knowledge from old granddad, from some small factory somewhere inside hmm, rock area of Wishine Mountains or something like that. And you can say, yeah, that old grandpa told me the story and start telling the story. A very sacred knowledge about the tea philosophy or something like that. It's a very important part. Be stylish. Don't follow trends. Be out of any kind of... I don't, can, can't even say because my English is very limited, but even English is not important because you are a master. You can speak any language. You can even don't speak, just show yourself. I think this is maybe enough, I can say more, but because I'm a master I can not speak too much, my English is limited. Anyway, I'm very thankful for your attention and I think that 
If you follow his simple guidelines, you will be a real master. Start from appearance to the serious face. Does not be feeling about anything, what anyone talk. Of course, to any mouth is very important. I think you must say, oh, I was in China. This is, yeah, this is very important. Or I was in Japan or I was somewhere in Taiwan or this is a very important part. When someone tell you something, oh yeah, in China, it's not like that. I was in that tea house in China. There was something else. This is important. Especially if you are a beginner, because you didn't have a great knowledge yet, but you can say something about some old grandpa in China who knows better. The last thing I forgot. There's a lot of things forgotten, actually. Of course, it's about the organic, organic teas. Organic. Organic is a very important word for anything. Anything now is organic. You must say this word with a sacred breath, like that. Organic. This is organic tea. And uh, after that, the price, of course, will increase 10 times for any tea, if it's organic. And this is a very important thing. Keep your attention about on serious feelings, serious face and you will be a master. But on. Follow me. Oh, the shit. How they might avoid it. It's really difficult to wear, my friend. Huh? How they do that? Huh? Did you know that? So terrible. Oh, disgusting. There's my where's my bracelet actually? I, I, I miss it here. It's one I have wanted. Oh there, here it is. Not this one, not that one. Yeah well. Oh yeah. Free yourself from the stereotypes. Just drink tea. <laughs>